to maybe one of the few Democrats that comes on this program, but I want to give you a sincere thank you for supporting National Concealed Carry. What was it that has you bucking the majority of your party? Well, it, it does, to me, it doesn't have to do with the party. It's just basically supporting the Second Amendment uh, and making sure that we uh, protect the basic constitutional rights of Americans. And one of them under the Second Amendment is very simple, the right to bear arms. What is it, do you think, about the leader of your party, Nancy Pelosi, who pushes really lies about the Second Amendment? And can I ask you, does it frustrate you? Well, again, you know, we've seen people on the left and the right that have different talking points. And again, I just want to focus on what's good for, you know, for my district and what I believe. My philosophy is to support the Second Amendment. And I certainly want to make sure that we support this reciprocity, the national reciprocity bill that uh, Representative Hudson and other folks are that, that we're pushing is important because you're right. Constitutional rights don't change at a state line. Uh, if there's a constitutional right to bear arms in the United States, part of the U.S. Constitution, that means it should transcend uh, state lines. Uh, you know, I don't think it's any coincidence that you happen to be a congressman from Texas. Uh, Texas has a, a rich history in gun rights and gun ownerships, and that goes for Democrats too, doesn't it, Congressman? It, it does. I mean, even when Texas was blue uh, some years ago, uh, the Second Amendment, the right to bear arms, uh, was very strong. So it's something that's ingrained uh, in uh, us Texans, and I think you know this for, for a fact, and it's, it's one of those things that, uh, that's it's important to know. So, you know, we, I, I got a lot of Democratic friends that support uh, the Second Amendment, the right to bear arms. So again, it's uh, does to me, it's not really party lines, but it's just believing in basic constitutional rights. Well, it's imperative that we get as many people as possible on board with this. Uh, one of my big concerns is the Senate. Are, are you talking to any of your Democratic colleagues in the Senate about trying to get on board with this? Well, you know, it, not yet. We want to make sure that we get it done over here in the House, and then we got to work on the Senate. Uh, but uh, we got to get this done. I mean, it's it's one of those bills that I think it's uh, it's important uh, for us to protect the Second Amendment, and I'm hoping that we can get enough Democrats uh, to get to 60 votes.